Right, welcome back. Episode four of Trials Talk podcast. Um, been a bit of a while since we did the last one. I've been busy. Matt's been away enjoying himself and he's been busy building vans. Hugo's buggered off on holiday skiing, the lucky bugger. Um, so it's just me and Matt tonight. A um, couple of things to talk about really since the last one. I suppose the second round of X trial in Austria and the first round of the um, trial GB championship. So um did want to mention youth A, but I couldn't find anything. I'm, I might just run through quickly, run through the results for the, the not youth A, sorry, the ACU British Youth Championship, um, which took place a couple of weeks ago. I think it was the 4th and 5th of March or something like that. Um, so wasn't too much on it, social media. So just thought I'd give them all a shout out because they're all trying pretty hard and they all deserve a little bit of recognition. So um, youth A then, I think it was a double, it was a double head around. So um, first two rounds of the championship. So Youth A was um, a double win for Zach Shuttleworth. Um, Youth B was another double win for you and Sim. Um, I did write it down here. Just let me check my, I can't read my writing. That's good, isn't it? Um, C standard wheels was um, Hudson Ravenhill White, I believe is his name. He won the first day and then Mason Tid won the second. Um, C medium wheel was another double for uh, Sam Lefebvre. Um, youth D medium wheel, am I correct in saying? I think that's the right one. Um, was a double for George Waring, and then this youth D small wheel was first day was Ruben Kerr, and second day was Hector Kemp. So, well done to all of them. Um, the only thing actually which I thought was a bit strange was you and Sim won the youth B championship last year, yeah, hasn't moved up. To youth I'm not sure. Have you got to get permission to move up? I'm well, not sure whether that is still a thing, but I think it used to be, didn't it? So yeah, maybe... I think you do have to request permission. Now, I think permission was requested and it was turned down for insurance purposes. So... <sighs> Sounds about right, doesn't it? Life is yeah. just ruined by insurance. By insurance, isn't it? I know we'll talk to you. <laughs> the, the MCUI trials in Ireland has just been... Um, annihilated at the minute by uh, insurance although I think we're getting a bit of a workaround for that but my understanding of it is that the permission was asked for and like I say it was turned down on insurance but I think he's 14 years old and G-Man young Hemo is also yeah. 14 years old yeah, right in, in the trial two class in trial GB. So I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know if I anybody don't know. Maybe watches this maybe or whatever, but maybe they could yeah. uh, come on and explain that. Maybe it's like the I remember before uh, when like I was mining for Adam Justin stuff. Um, I remember it was all due to do with birthday days and, and all this sort of stuff. So maybe maybe his birthday just falls the wrong time of year, or well, I, I don't know. Cause it was George's because it was George's birthday not that long ago, wasn't it? Uh, I think last week, the week before. Yeah, possibly. I hope my camera's doing weird things here, so I hope that's all recording. Probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I hope I hope that's recorded properly there. But anyway, yeah, it could could be. I don't know. Um, but I just I, it just struck me. I thought, hang on a minute. Are they both? They're both about the same age. Yeah, you know, one one's been like kept in youth B, and the other one's quite rightly so <laughs> been allowed to ride in, yeah, in trial sure. two. You know, yeah, that seems a bit weird. But anyway, mm. right. So anyway, that that we'll, we'll see if anybody comes back. It would be great. I don't know. Maybe nobody even watches these at all. And um, but if somebody from the ACU was watching, that'd be great to have a little uh, answer on that. But anyway, so. Um, next up then, X Trial. I don't know if you watched it. I actually paid for the live pass. Did you actually? Yeah. I, Someone's <laughs> doing well. Yeah, I don't know. I just sort of I just sort of thought it was it was it was like I was sitting on Saturday before Barcelona and I thought, mm, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind. I'm not going to Barcelona this year for about the first time in five years, so I'll just cough up the it wasn't it's not dear, it's only like 35 euro or something, so is that just for the one event? Or? No, no, that's for the whole season. 
that's not bad actually. To be no, fair, that's what I thought. I mean, it's what it works out at like six or seven euros a round or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, which yeah. Um, one thing I liked about the um uh, that round, that second round in Austria, there was they didn't use the usual sections that they yeah. kind of bring everywhere, and I think that kind of switched up a bit. Not you know, it wasn't just really familiar to everybody. There was there was a little bit of they had to think a little bit about how they were riding them. Yeah, it looked good from what from what I saw. The there was a lot of wooden sort of like man like handmade sections yeah um like you said there was that like woodeny sort of staircase similar sort of style to the barcelona montessa section where you sort of go up up into the stand yeah, up into the stand um and i don't think anyone got through it first lap or the first round as they call it did they no um yeah but i mean it's the same old story isn't it you look at it on tv and it flattens it out loads and i'm sure if you were stood in it like it yeah. would be, it'd be mental there was, um, there was one camera view from from the top of it, looking down, which actually gave you a pretty good idea. Like you say, cameras or, or videos or anything like that, photographs never do anything justice. Um, yeah. But it looked, you could just tell by the angle the bike was sitting at and the sort of scale of the rider compared to where the minder was. The minder was, yeah. you know, it was like yeah. Father Ted, you know, it was like small, far away. It was one of those. Ones. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, it was. I I actually really enjoyed it. I thought the coverage was good. The X Trial live, um, X Trial TV or whatever they call it, was actually yeah. really good. And it's just the same commentary as you get, um, on the on the highlights or whatever. Whenever it's shown on whatever channel yeah. it's on now, that via play or whatever the hell it is. I don't know. You turn the TV on at the most obscure hour, and it's on the weirdest channel ever, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I know. It hasn't popped up on Babe Station yet, though. <laughs> I don't go on that channel so like, <laughs> just you that's just you I'm sure the screen doesn't know about that I don't know what's Babe Station um, somebody, <laughs> somebody somebody told me about it once um, yeah so Busto won I think probably deservedly so Tony made a silly mistake which was pretty on Tony like and fired the section which sort of handed mm. it to Busto but to be fair to Jaime he he rode pretty well. He yeah. normally he's a bit flaky. He kind of cracks under pressure a bit, but yeah, he uh, he seemed to he seemed to hold it all together. I think there might have been a bit of pressure on him considering it, it was in Austria and obviously gas gas yeah, yeah. by KTM, Red yeah. Bull, whatever you know. Okay, yeah. he's a Red Bull athlete, but it won't probably won't be long before he is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, disappointing. The only thing. <sighs> The, I, well, you maybe didn't see it, but the observing was a little bit flaky around about, you know, the, whatever they call it, leaning, like touching the sump. Yeah, the whole sump guard rule, yeah. <sighs> there were times I thought, there's not, there's no way that sump touched, but he, he had, you know, straight up little finger in the air there. I don't know what to do about that. I mean, I thought there was clear. I, know, I think it's. One of the worst rules in the in the X trial thing, in my opinion, it's just a load of shit, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, I don't know. I mean, it's it's one of them, isn't it? I know, but I thought this year it was supposed to be, you know, if they were lining the bike up, if the sump touched and then they sort of were bouncing the bike, and the sump was touching, it was it would only, yeah. it only if it touched once it was only going to be once it, you know if yeah 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 right, it wasn't going to be you know flip me it's touched three times there flip me you're out the section or whatever yeah yeah um, yeah I don't know I, I, the jury's out on that one I'm I don't know whether I like it or not I think I suppose it kind of it makes the obstacles a little bit trickier but the guys are just doing everything on the back wheel now anyway really aren't they so it's not really yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed sure. for Toby actually, and I know we talk about Toby quite a lot. And there's my camera away again. I don't know what's going on with this thing. <laughs> I'm just having a little fit over there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, there was a a big double step, and he fived it, and that probably cost him a place in the in the final. I think. Agent. Yeah, I think so. It's hard to... I always find the results of the X trial really hard to sort of understand to a point. Do you know what I mean? I don't know whether it's just because they publish, 
publish it in like a really weird way, but like, because if you look at the round, I don't know, you look at round one standings and round two standings, and even people that didn't ride in round two are still in round one. So I don't know. It's just well, the, everybody rides the first two rounds now, so they've changed the rules so they don't get rid yeah. of anybody after the first round. Um, which I think is probably a bit fairer. Yeah, I mean, you get more of a go at everything, don't you? For yeah. sure, and you're not driven like in Toby's, like Toby's sort of case, like and gone all the way from hours, whatever it is. Austria and then back to Hook Quids to ride his bike for 10 minutes. It's like, yeah, no, yeah. It's, it is better, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's a better way to. I don't know if there's a better way to do it really. I think I think they've I think they've probably worked it quite well now with the two everybody does the two laps and then it's it, yeah. gives, like it gives everybody a bit of a fair chance. If you've had a bad, I mean Gratarola, for example, had another absolute nightmare of a first lap, but actually pulled it back quite well. Yeah. On the second lap. Um I don't know what's gonna happen with him on that bike. He doesn't seem to just have You know what? I'm I'm excited to see him at some outdoors on it. Yeah. I don't know. And I had to go and I had to go on a DL twelve <sighs> on whatever day it was and I was well impressed. Really? Honestly, I was well impressed. Okay. So if someone wants to sell me a cheap vertigo, <laughs> there you go. Um Matt's in the uh, Matt's I've in said the, it. Uh, I've said it and I'm never saying it again because beat it's, it's, it's recorded. Device, it's recorded now. Doesn't matter. <laughs> going to be on the internet everything on the internet's true <laughs> um <clears throat> yeah i don't know i there's something about the i mean we're digressing we're getting a bit off topic here but it doesn't really matter um the there's something about the riding position on the vertigo that i i don't it just doesn't suit my i'm gonna say style mm. i don't think i really have any style but um it just i just don't i prefer yeah, no i know what you mean gas gas sort of or, or trs that style of even actually sure goes quite a nice um riding position uh, not so keen on the beta the beta is quite short always feels like i'm sort of falling over the front of a beta or something i don't know it's... yeah i know what you mean see having having only other than when i've minded for people and like jumping on the old bike every now and again having only ever ridden beaters anything i jump on feels weird yeah you know what i mean like I feel, it just feels strange because the the geometry of a beta is so one of a kind, isn't it? Like yeah. you say, you can jump from Gasser to TRS to, to Sherco, for example, and like they all feel relatively similar. Like it doesn't take you a great deal, like great deal of time to get into the swing of things on a different bike, I don't think. But yeah. So it's one of them, everyone's different, aren't they? And everyone's got preference. Well, that's it. I mean, there, there's, I mean, there aren't really any bad bikes, are there? It's just, just down to whatever color you like, really. Yeah, basically. Um, I'm just, I wouldn't be that in the green. No, I know what you mean. But I think that's why, <laughs> like, I think that's why I, I like, I'm a fan of a silver frame. and I, I'm not a fan of the nitro, the new nitro with all the green. Not a fan of that. But no? that DL with the silver frame. Oh, what, about, what, about the, what about the titanium? Yeah, go for one of them. Cheap. See, I, yeah. Cheap with an 11.5 grand. It's a snip. Days of work. Just a day's work, mate. <laughs> 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 um, I, I honestly, I think anyone that buys one of them things wants to, wants their head looking at. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't understand. Yeah, well, we actually we we just I I can't remember if you were in the previous episode we discussed that, but you can't actually ride it in a world championship because you're not allowed to have a titanium frame. Yeah, which seems yeah. a bit weird for like their flagship model, but anyway, right? Okay, so um, that's a bit of off topicness. Uh, yeah. So right. I mean the, the the big sort of elephant in the room I think after the first round of um trial GB was the severity of the sections and there's my camera going again um hopefully it's still recording sound even if it's not recording picture um yeah massive scores um, huge scores time penalties long sections which I have to say we we did we did talk about that. I think it was episode two. Yeah. We, we did say that unless the organisers 
are told to keep the sections the same length, then there's no point in increasing the time limit. They'll just make they'll just double the length of the section or add half as much onto it again, which I think is pretty much exactly. the same. Uh, but in fairness to the ACU, they were fairly quick with a statement there to say we yeah. recognise that we've done whatever wrong and um, it won't happen again. So I think they were sort of. They had no choice but to release that quickly because from what from what I've been told and what I've heard, I think they've received a lot of complaints and emails and and too many to just sort of like yeah brush off. The Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, I wasn't there, but I mean, from all you got to do is look at the results in it to 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 sort of see how wrong it how wrong it was, and I don't think I don't think that's anything against. Hookwoods Trials Club at all, or the section setters. I think mistakes were made, weather conditions changed, and yeah, well, that's. I mean, yeah, that, it's just it's always difficult to to get the level, and and you know, it's it's the difference between those guys getting something and not getting something is it's so it's it's fractional, yeah. and it it it's such a hard thing to get right, and it mm. they just. They just didn't get it right. No, not really. Probably anybody's fault, but uh, yeah. it just the combination of, like you say, weather and everything else. It just, it just went the wrong way for them, unfortunately. Yeah. Um. There were some, mind you. There was one section I saw a video of. I think I saw Toby a video of Toby, and I saw a video of young Harry Hemingway as well. That, oh, that jump! Massive gap. Oh my god! That's like going back to that. like old school indoors jumping yeah. gaps. Like that it was strange because that's. I mean, I don't know how recently you've been to Hookwoods. Like, I know I haven't been since probably late on last year. Like, yeah, oh, something no, like that. No. And so basically, that jump is effectively above the jump that has always been in for the last five years in the top of this bit that they call Sun Mountain, mm -hmm. and. That is a long old way. It's a big jump, that. Yeah, well, you could tell when they showed, there was one angle sort of showed from behind where they were taken off, and there was another angle yeah. below. From below, yeah. Looking yeah. Like, like sort of patterning across as they were jumping across, and that was the one that really was like, holy shit. Yeah, it was been at least two and a half, maybe three bike lengths. Yeah, I'd, I'd have probably said, like, you're about bang on, if not. A little bit shy with the latter of yeah that, you know i mean I, yeah no it's a good i bet it's a good minimum five meter six meters span across there yeah. a long way yeah so fair i mean fair play yeah, fair yeah play i don't know i mean i think i don't i'm not sure i, I don't know what section number it was i didn't look up the results to see if anybody actually cleaned it but um yeah fair play so um yeah results were uh, trial GB was Jack. I, I, this is this is what amazes me too. Like, what was it? One hundred and thirty marks, or in around that anyway. And there was like one mark between Mental. And second. It, it's like it's nuts. So what happens you when you are getting through like four sections a lap or something? Well, I suppose that's it. Yeah, the less sections you're getting through, the less chance there is to to yeah. um, gain a margin on somebody. Um, yeah. so Jack won. Uh, Toby was second. Billy Green was third, uh, Young Hemo was fourth, and then Jack Dance was fifth. Um, so I said, I mean, anywhere I saw Harry riding, he looked like he was. Mm. It's not going to take him long, I would say, before he's he's battling up there yeah. for top spot. Yeah, for sure. And it always takes. It always takes. I think when you move into a new class or you move up a grade or whatever you do, you know, it doesn't matter what level you're at. It takes a bit of time uh, mm. to sort of get into the way of riding a new a new type of section or a new severity of section. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh dear! Right, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, there we go. You stop now. Right, we're back. I've, I've stopped doing whatever I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollar. Um, <laughs> Um, not surprised, I have to say, that um, 
the electric motion thought better of riding the trial GB class and yeah. decided to ride trial two. I'm, I'm not surprised at that. Um, and it was probably the right decision. And he did win actually by a by I think it was about 15 marks or something he won by. Yeah. Um from Sam Haslam. And then Sam yeah. Connor. Sam well, Sam Connor always goes well down there, doesn't he? That's his Yeah, it's his ground, yeah. <laughs> that's his uh his home home territory. Yeah, to beat to, to beat both them Sams at Hookwoods, you're doing pretty pretty bloody well. Um yeah, fair play. Yeah, well that's local to both of them, isn't it? So Yeah. Um home ground. Two other young riders that have moved up into that trial two class. We mentioned obviously um G Man earlier on. He was eighth. Which is a pretty damn yeah. good result on a one two five in there. And Definitely, also Jamie Galloway was ninth. So those two yeah. that have moved up from the the trial one two five class last year, um, pretty good, pretty good showing. I I'm I'm imagining they're both yeah. pretty chuffed with that. Yeah, yeah. So, I actually, I meant would be, to, you? yeah, I meant the I was I was I meant the message Jamie actually and see just what he what he thought of it. <laughs> scratching my ear I'm like an old dog there with a flipping flea behind me <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this anyway don't happen. worry about it I'm enjoying it it's quite good fun uh, it's, yeah it's a laugh isn't it um, expert line then Brad Bullock Dan Thorpe George Gosden was the top three there so don't think there was anything no real surprises in that one. No, I think that was it three people that dropped below 100 in the expert class or four people. Yeah, there wasn't many. So it was a pretty hard day out. Yeah. Mind you, I don't know. They're all bloody snowflakes these days. I mean, in 130, I've, I've, I've won trials in 130 before. It's a great day. I've certainly dropped more. I've certainly dropped more than 130 before. Oh, <laughs> I remember the I remember the first ever Irish Championship. I think I got through about three. I think I got through about three sections all day. I was over 200 marks. <laughs> Brilliant. Those were the days. Um. So then, trial one two five was Harry Blackwell, Daniel Debreu, who moved. He won the UFA last year, didn't he? That young Daniel fella. Um, yes, I think so. Harrison Skelton. So it'll be interesting to see. Obviously, I think is it is this weekend round? Yes, it's neat this weekend. St David's. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, might I might see if I can catch a lift over to that. Wouldn't mind going to that. Never, never been to that since it. Moved. Good trial. Yeah, I, I haven't been. That's, I a, that's a, a couple yeah. of years ago, and it was it's a mega venue. Yeah, it's only recently Family. moved there, but hasn't it? Um, yeah, I think, did they run it there last year? Or the year before? I feel like they've been there for the last two years. It could be Yeah, wrong. but, um, because, I'm trying to think, I, I mean, I think I rode this in David's once, maybe, but it was way back, and I think it was on Lee Sargent's land, right. father's farm or whatever. Yeah. Um, without, I mean, I'm going back, like, 25 years, probably. Um, but, yeah, I've seen videos of that new venue there yeah. has been used maybe two or three times maybe it's hard to tell you don't see with that flipping pandemic like you, you just can't remember how yeah. it's gone past that yeah yeah seems like five years ago it started <laughs> um yeah so round two this weekend yeah I might try I might see if I can get a wee lift over to that you're I'm guessing are you minding for somebody this, this weekend, weekend. <laughs> no so I think me and Lisa are going riding on Friday and then trying to do a bit of training before the World Championship starts. Um, and then I don't think I'm actually going to... I'm not going to bother going. Um, I'm going to just keep keep riding up streams ready for May is my plan. Yeah, well, it's a good plan. Trying to, trying to avoid another bloody injury. Um, yeah. Try and stay in one piece till then, you know? <laughs> Yeah, it's never good. I uh, I didn't injure myself, but I injured the bike. Um, I saw scratched port leg. Not just scratched, actually lifted a lump 
out of it. So it's like, it's a total write off. So, um, yeah, I, I kind of, I looked at it and I rubbed my finger up it and the bit of aluminium was stuck in my, Oh no. Stuck in my finger. So yeah, that's a serious, um, I don't know what that's, I don't know what that's going to cost. It'll be 400 quid or something. Are they Kashima's as well? Kashima, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> But I have See, to what say, I did, when I did when I did the, a similar thing last summer, I just um, I accepted that the fork leg was complete uh, written off. I just tied a rag down the bottom of the fork leg and just kept riding it until it ran out of oil. That's an option. Um, yeah, it was. That's what I did, and then I just bought some fancy rainbow forks. That was. Yeah, well, I actually I have a set. I I did try. Um, I have a set of. Uh, rainbow showers um, yeah. I, I did put them in because I, I, I want to go out I'm going to go out again tomorrow so I did put them in but then yeah. I need, I would have needed to take the front wheel as well because the offset is slightly different so I'd have needed to take the front wheel out of my Montessa as well so I decided right scrap that idea I've still got my 1R so I just took the whole front end out of the 1R and put it in I actually have to say the black bike with the 1R comes with black forks yeah. It actually looks it looks quite trick. Easier to colour scratches in as well. You just want one of these black Sharpie pens and Yeah, uh... Sharpie, yeah. Just colour yeah. them. Um I have to find I have to see if my wife's got any like nail varnish in Kashima colour. Um, <laughs> <laughs> try that one. Um yeah, I'll tell you weird. what, you joke, that is a really good way of it if it's not a major, major scratch. No, it's, it's a major it scratch. Is a good, it is a very good way of repairing them, that is nail varnish. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a little, wet, little bit of wet and dry and hey presto. I know, but it's it's like right through the writing as well, so it's really obvious. Which is yeah, got it. But anyway, I sort of consoled myself by saying, right, that's the first time I've ever done a fork leg and in 30 years of riding trials. So I've not done too badly, I think. Is it actually? Yeah, yeah, first time ever. Fair play. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not too You've bad. You've done well there. I've probably just You've got myself well now. What do you say? I'll do the other one the next time I'm out. I'm touching, <laughs> I'm touching wood under the table here. As we... <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, yeah. So, um, anything else? I don't know. I don't know what else we got to. No, oh, I came across think... something quite. I came across something quite retro when we were moving house. Do you want to see it? Right, go ahead. You're you're gonna see this and go. It's not actually that retro, but to me, it actually, is how cool is that? An old Tony Bow replica excited helmet. Right. There we go. We digress. That was all I wanted to say, really. Um, again, it's not... I mean, what... It can only be 16, 17 years old. That's old. That's old. Um, yeah, I suppose it is. Somebody born at the same time that helmet was new is now driving. Exactly. So, yeah, so fair enough. Old. <laughs> um, X-Trial, I think there's another one on this weekend. I should know that. Um... I did, I did have the, uh, I did have, let me just check. I did have the website open earlier. Do, do, do. What's the next one up? I'm not Tamplona. sure. Where? Tamplona. Um, on, when's that? Saturday, 25th. So I'll be getting my little X-Trial TV app up and running again for that one. You need to do a live stream on Facebook. Like, get a little tripod set up. Yeah, the, uh... yeah we try that. I think you should. Definitely get banned. Save me, save me paying for it anyway. Yeah, I could just stream it live through our YouTube channel. Do it. <laughs> no, there's, there's uh, yeah, there's, there's got to be a solicitor's letter at the end of that. Here we go again. <laughs> There's my camera's gone again. Anyway. It's got a really itchy chin. Itchy chin. Itchy. <laughs> <laughs> right. If that stops, which I really hope it does soon. Because <laughs> my chin's not that itchy. There we go. There we go. Um, 
yeah, that's never happened before. Uh, right, so I think that's us done. Um, hopefully the next one will have at least Hugo back and hopefully Donna. I don't know, she's probably nodded off again. Um, don't forget, everybody who's watching, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you in the next one.